with his blood. I thank him. None like him in all the earth. Amen. If you will join me in Revelations this morning. Chapter 21. I don't think I'm going to be too long. But it's not my say. Praise the Lord. Sing a song. Amen. 
It's more than that. We're not just here. Amen. That look crazy. Amen. This is no gym where we come to jump. I got to know that the one that's jumping the loudest and the hardest is the one that went through something this week. Amen. If you're looking at us like you don't know what's going on, we headed somewhere. Yes. But to get there, your heart has to be fixed. Yes. Many things that devil will put in front of you to discourage you, yes. Yes. to turn you aside. Amen. All manner of trouble. All manner of nuisances. All manner of Amen, of sorrow, pain, yeah. all temptations designed to turn you away from this holy city. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But my heart is fixed. Yeah. Come on. Praise the Lord. And I want to go through this a little bit and then we'll get out of your way. Read that for me. Very strong. And I saw a new heaven. New heaven. And a new earth. New earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Yes. And there was no more sea. No more sea. So we see heaven is being prepared to receive us. Amen. Amen. Some may chance to say. That's ridiculous. Isaiah said he's going to create a new heaven. He is. Yes, he is. Amen. He's going to do it just like he did me. Yes. Amen. He said, if any man be in Christ, yes, he's a new creature. Yes. He didn't destroy me and make another branch of What he did was wash me. What he did was took sin out. Yes, Amen. The sin would no longer reign in our mortal body. He made my destination new. I got a new direction. I got a new wall. I have a new dance. I got a new attitude. Praise him. I heard him sit on the throne and say, I make all things new. Yes. Praise him. He goes on to say what now? Verse 2. John saw it. The holy city. Holy city. New Jerusalem. Yes. Coming down from God out of heaven. Prepared as a bride adorned for her. Family. You know who that is, don't you? Yes. That's the church. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. That's you. If you remain faithful. If you continue in righteousness, that's you. Praise the Lord. Now we know that the church basically is comprised of all manner of people. We drew that net out there and brought it back in. Some was good. Some was bad. He's going to separate at this day. Yes. Amen. Amen. We got folk faithful to the house. They ain't saved. Oh. Praise the Lord. It's more than being in a house. You got to become the house and stay the house. Yes. You have to be bound to righteousness. Praise the Lord. Nobody in here does what they want to do. You were bought with a price. And if you want to see this, you got to remain obedient. Yes, oh, yes, be quiet now. Yes, Amen. Go ahead, third chapter, third verse. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Yes. Behold. The tabernacle of God is with men. Yes. And he will dwell with them. They shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. And be their God. Amen. And 
so we see that God himself will come and dwell among men. You know why? Sin is gone. All the rebellion has been put down. Everything not like him was taken up. Only thing left is holy. Lord have mercy. And we have to fix ourselves. We have to determine, like the sister says, we got to be determined to stay in a state of readiness. Can't be moved around with every wind and doctrine. Can't be moved by opinion. Can't be moved by foolishness that goes on. You've got to be determined yes, to hold up to the end. Yes, Praise him. He said, it's have a of God. This, this hasn't happened since the God. Did y'all hear me? All after Adam fell, God used intermediaries to stand between us. When mankind fell into sin, they could no longer be in his presence. He had to have a prophet to talk to you, and he had to have a priest to receive gifts from you. You no longer had that access that you had when he made us. But in that day, the proclaim will go out. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Lord, have mercy. Lord, don't let me fail. My heart is fixed to see this. Don't let me fail. Keep my mind and my heart right. Lord, have mercy. Don't let me fail. For flesh. Lord have mercy. Go ahead, sir. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. May I say, He's not going to get rid of your tear ducts. What He's going to get rid of is sorrow. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Because there are tears of joy. Huh? And it's going to be joy unspeakable and full of glory. Not going to get rid of your tear ducts. But everything that causes your heart to weep in sorrow, that's what's going to be missing. Go ahead, sir. And there shall be no more death. No more death. Neither sorrow. Listen. No crime. Look at what death is doing. Neither shall there be any more pain. Oh, your point, sir. <laughs> I'm still at death. Because <laughs> death is a problem. Death is the big interrupter. Huh? That's why we can't serve God, because we got our own plans. But death is stopping. I don't care how you hit the lotto last week. Let death come. Fred will be spending that. Praise him. I don't care what your plan is. I know you graduate next month, but death can stop it. That's why we say keep God first. No matter what, whether you poor, whether you rich, whether you're moving forward, whether you're sitting on your deathbed, So many times you hear people say, I'm coming. I'm coming to church as soon as I get myself together. Oh, that mercy. That's not the right plan. The plan is I'm going to come before it's everlasting too late. That's the plan. Because while you're trying to get yourself together, that death angel come and snatch you. And when it snatches you, it's going to seal everything you are. You, all your little skeletons, all your secrets, all your backslides, all your secret resentments, all your hate. That devil is going to seal it. 
so that when you go before the throne, you ain't gonna have a thing to say. God's gonna be looking right at it. What mean the these thing? How did death get in you? Especially if you're claiming a victory. We got folks claiming a victory, biggest haters of all. But that's what we went, that's where we headed. And when we get hit, all of that be put down. All of that hate will be cast in the lake. All of it. He said, all liars. Not most of them. Not the little white ones. Huh? Ain't no little white lying here. It's either true or a lie. And all lies will have their part in the lake. Praise the Lord. We all be shot. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be shot. I'm going to have a new set of needs. Because this corruption will be taken over by incorruption. Yes, Oh, that mercy. When you saw the church coming down from heaven, they were coming down to receive the glorified bodies. Oh, that mercy. Romans tell us that right now, all creation, grown, waiting for, to wit, Lord, have mercy, the redemption of their body. When God saved you, he saved your soul. He didn't save your body. Your body's not saved. That's why you still got bad appetite. That's why you got appetite that can cause you to go to the lake. Because this house right here is still corrupted. But at that day, we're going to get a body that agree with our soul. Huh? There'll be no line there. Lord, have mercy. Let me get on through. I'm almost finished. That's all right, Jacob. Go ahead, sir. You don't know what you are doing. Neither sorrow. Huh? Neither sorrow. Uh huh. No crime. That's right. Neither shall there be any more pain. That's right. For the former things are passed away. That's it. So we got to stay with our hearts fixed. We don't want to miss this. Praise the Lord. I know the way grows tired. I know the hills are hard to climb. Praise the Lord. The song said that we're going to cry sometime. That's over here. Now is the time of crying. Now is the time of experiencing pain. Now is the time of going through. Praise the Lord, but he gave us the Holy Ghost to help. Yes, he Praise him. When your spirit, when your spirit is low and you tired in your body, I heard the song say, just ask the Savior. Yes, sir. Lord, have mercy. Ask him to help you. To comfort you and to don't you know he will? I know he will because he did me. Praise the Lord. I'd be so glad that I didn't got away from some of these liars. Praise the Lord. You know, somebody asked me recently, say, Pastor, when you when you preach, do you get mad? <laughs> I said, you can be sure. You can be sure I do. Because I'm still in this house. We're men of like passion. You push my buttons, of course, I'm going to react. Yeah. But I told her, I'm not as bad as I once was. I'm growing. Yeah. I don't bring bricks to the pulpit no more. Not, you know, the ones you used to sing. 
<laughs> if this prayer is God's prayer, praise the Lord. But we hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. And being a pastor don't exempt you from hurt. Amen. Praise the Lord. What I need to do is learn how to ask God to help me. Yes. Just help me keep moving. Help me to keep one foot in front of the other until he comes. Praise the Lord. He said right here, no more sorrow. Lord, have mercy. No crime. Neither shall there be any more pain. And we know pain, don't we? All kinds of pain. Physical pain. Mental pain. Physiological pain. All kinds of pain. I, I said one time, I didn't know how many different ways a heart can be broken. I didn't know how many times it could be healed. Praise the Lord. I know now. I got an idea. I heard the Bible say he's a healer. Yes, he is. All our diseases. Praise the Lord. And so, Lord, my heart is fixed. Praise the Lord. I know at least I got a good idea what lie ahead. But my heart yeah. is fixed. That's why I'm determined. Yes, Lord. I'm like Paul, not as though I have already attained. But I press. Amen. Amen toward the mark. Yeah. I haven't made it, but I'm in a press. Yes, right. Heard the Bible say, strive. They're on the outside, they have no idea about the church. Praise the Lord. The church is an eternal entity with the doors wide open for whosoever will. Amen. Can be saved, can receive the Spirit of the living God to dwell on the inside. To help us, amen, to live like him. Help us to love like him. Help us to fight sin like him. Help us to love one another. Help us to be helpless one of another in spite of. Because we had it somewhere. Praise the Lord. There's no fable. It's no fable. And let me tell you this, I ain't thinking about who will be the next president. But that's not where I'm headed. I'm headed for something beyond this life. It don't matter. I suppose I have a pick if I had to vote. But at the end of the day, they all on the same team. Huh? They just fight it a little different, but they all on the same team. Praise the Lord. How long have we been here now? 200 years? 250 years? Us. I haven't seen anything change for me. Praise the Lord. I'm not putting my eggs in a basket of some politician. Because he has his battles too. If I was the same one, I wouldn't be telling them about which way I'm voting. I'd be telling him to take a stand. To come on in and join this thing. Join this race. Praise the Lord. If we got the Holy Ghost, you automatically know Black Lives Matter. And the green ones too. Praise the Lord. Life matters for the Holy Ghost. Heard God say, I'm not willing that any should perish, but that all men would come to repentance. We ain't doing no politics here. We trying to be saved. Go ahead, sir. Did we get to the end? And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. All things new. And he said unto me, Write, 
For these words are true and faithful. They're true. Go ahead. And he said unto me, It is done. It's done. I am Alpha and Omega. It's done. The beginning and the it's end. It's done. done. Y'all hear me? Yes, Lord. What are you saying? He's done. What do you mean it's done? The fight and the war has already been waged for your salvation. All you need to do is but say yes. yes. Praise the Lord. All we need to do is get in line. Yes, Begin to obey this word. I heard him say there's therefore now no condemnation. To who? What? Yeah, we got a little <laughs> we got a little side winding right there. The idea is that we don't follow flesh. We walk after the word of God. Preached correctly. Amen. This ain't about money. This not about getting rich. It's not about being earthly successful. It's about having your soul prepared for a prepared place. And so many of us have started out years ago, amen, to make it here. But things, circumstances, situations have caused us to come on the track to right here. My job this morning is to encourage you get back on track. Lord, have mercy. And if you're already on track, keep moving. Keep walking. Continue in the things that God has placed in our lives. He has ordered our steps. Praise the Lord. Keep moving forward towards God. Keep Him first in your life. I don't care how many tears you have to cry. Doesn't matter how many friends you lose. Doesn't mean, amen, that you're losing out with God. Amen. Keep your eye on Him. Ask Him to help you to keep walking. Praise Him when the storms of life begin to rage. Keep walking. Praise Him when all those that you had confidence in fail you. Keep walking. Amen. When you're job lets you down. Keep moving forward. Now, amen. Lord, you saved me. Help me to remain saved. Help me to stay in the place where you place me. When you're talking about preaching, now, I want to be found acceptable when he comes. Amen. I'm going to work. Amen. As though he's not coming. But my mind is fixed. My heart is set to make this journey. I might fall. But Lord, help me to get up. Don't let me wallow in my sin. Don't let me fumble around. Don't let me linger too long. My heart is fixed. No matter what that devil try to bring my heart fixed. Lord have mercy. Right. If I have to cry while I'm marching, let me cry. Amen. Amen. Whatever I lose for his sake is good. Yeah. Heard Paul say, I count it as done. Yeah. Amen. Amen. My heart is fixed this morning, Saint. Right. My heart is fixed. Does that mean I'm happy go lucky? No. Now, on this side, there's struggles. Amen. On this side, there's contention. On this side, there's battles that got to be won. On this side, sacrifices must be made. Y'all hear me? He said, if any man would come after me, let him deny himself. That's the biggest reason why we can't walk with him. I'm too important, uh -huh. yeah. amen, to suffer for Jesus. 
But Lord, I thank you for counting me worthy to suffer for you. Thank you for letting me be found worthy, amen, to suffer for the sake of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. And you ain't really walking until it costs you. Y'all hear me? Amen. That's when it's sweet. That's when this walk becomes sweet. When I suffer for his name's sake. Amen. I want to go further. I want to go further than I am. I want to go all the way to the mark where he had me at when he called me out of darkness. Y'all hear me? Church has got to be more than a song saying. It's got to become more than a song. It's got to become more than a preached sermon. Huh? It's got to be a lived life. That's what it is. It's got to be a lived life. Because we have perfected hypocrisy. Y'all hear me? You looking just like you saved. You ain't been on saved man anymore. All right. Thank you for that. Praise the Lord. Lord, save us. And save me from me. I'm my worst enemy. Ain't nothing you can do to make me miss my mark. That's me. If I miss it, ain't nobody but you, Bradshaw. Praise the Lord. But I want you to know that if your heart is fixed, you can make it. Praise the Lord. But your heart got to be right. Praise the Lord. Your heart got to be toward Him. Not no personality. You think I'm going to lose out for God for a personality who may not even make it themselves? I want to be saved. Praise the Lord. Is there one this morning?